Okay, all right guys, today we're gonna to look at finding out two new keywords. The first one is the median. And that's what we're asked to find in this question. So, the slickies are a group of worms. Here are the list of the lengths of 11 worms. Okay, so here's a list of the 11 worms and we're asked to find the median. Every time I'm asked to find the median, I need everybody here to try and remember that the median is the middle value. Okay, and I'm going to explain what I mean by that. We can have a look here and we'll, have a, we'll investigate this data a little bit further. We can see that the biggest worm is this guy here who's 27 centimetres long. And the smallest one, the baby of the family, is this guy here. He's only 12 centimetres long. And when we find the median, our first step is always to put them in order from the smallest to the biggest. So step one, when we're looking for the median, is always to put them in order. And that order must be from the smallest to the biggest. Okay, so let's get started here, guys. I'm going to pick out the smallest number. So I said before that it was 12 and the largest number was 27. And I'm going to start with the smallest number, which is 12. I'm going to cross it out and I'm going to write the numbers in order. So the next one is 13. Cross it out. I don't have a 14, but I do have a 15. No 16, but I have a 17. And you can see how long I'm taking at this. I'm not rushing into it because you can make a mistake quite easily. 19, oh, I've got the 18. 19. No 20, but I do have a 21. So that's gone. 22 is next. Then I've got 24. Get rid of that one. Uh, and then I have 26. And then the last one, I'm going to move this over a little bit so I'm not as squashed. The last one, the biggest one here, is 27. Okay, so step one is always to put them in order from the smallest to the biggest. Step two, guys, is to begin to cross off. And how we do that is we cross off the smallest number first, followed by the biggest number, and we repeat. Okay, so the smallest number in this instance is 12, so 12 is gone, 27 is gone, then back to the smallest number, this time it's 13, the biggest number here is 26, and we keep crossing off as so. And this is all showing your work for the examiner. Okay, we're left with one number in the middle, 19. And we can conclude that the median, the number in the middle of these worms, when put in order from smallest to biggest, is 19. Done. All right, let's try another question here. Find the median of the following sets of data. And in the corner, I'm just going to remember that the median is all about the middle number. But in order to find the middle number, I must follow step one, which is to write them in order from the smallest to the biggest. Okay, so I'm gonna write them in order. My smallest number here is three, quickly followed by four, and then we have seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, then I follow step two, which is to cross off. And this is from the smallest. And then on to the biggest and repeat. So the smallest number here is three. So I'm going to get rid of three, then get rid of 10, then get rid of four, then get rid of nine. Now, what's happened in this question is we actually have two numbers in the middle because if I was to cr continue to cross off, I'd be left with nothing. So if you find that you're left with two numbers in the middle, you have to do a little bit more work. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to find the mean or the average of these two numbers, so the mean average. And how you do that is you add the two numbers, 7 plus 8, and you divide them by 2. So 7 plus 8 is going to give me 15. Divide it by 2. You're going to get into decimal points here, so not a natural number. 15 divided by 2 is going to be 7.5. Alright, so that's the median of this set of data here. Okay, the last keyword I'm going to cover in today's lesson is range. And range is all about the spread of data. Okay, so in order to find the range, we must have a look at a piece of data. So here's a line of data, and this is the ages of people in a classroom. So we have 11, 12, 13, 11, 14, and we have a senior student who arrived in 17. Okay, so we're going to find the range of this set of data. The range, as I said before, is all about the spread of data, and we want to find out the difference between the highest and the lowest. The lowest number in this instance here is 11, and the highest number is 17. I can write them in order, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17. That can help me if I have a lot of data and I'm not sure which is the lowest and which is the highest. And in order to find the range, all I need to do, nice and simple, is I subtract the highest value. I have the highest value minus the lowest value. So in this instance, the highest value is 17. And then from that, I take the lowest value, which is 11. And so I can see that the range in this question is 6. All right, the final thing today then is a bit of a learning check. We learned in today's lesson all about the median and the range. All right, there are two ways of looking at averages. I've given you four sets of data, and the first thing we'll be doing in tomorrow's class is we'll be looking at these sets of data and finding the median and range of each one. So make sure you've learned your steps for finding both, and I'll see you tomorrow.